Pace now drives wide open land. Good. Gordon got it. Here's Gage for a three. Yeah, that looks good, baby. Yeah, Georgia loses a a heartbreaker um, to Ole Miss. You know, I felt kind of happy for for a little while there. I said in pregame, Georgia needed Braylon Bridges to play a great game today, and Braylon did. Braylon proved me wrong. I really, I really didn't talk bad about. I mean, I don't talk bad about our players. I loved them, but for the last few games, Braylon has not been playing that good of basketball. Braylon showed out today. Um, his efforts just weren't enough. Uh, Justin Hill. 7.9 seconds left. Hill gets a steal. That leads to a two. Um, the game is still alive. Georgia stays alive. But um, Ole Miss just uh, ended the game <laughs> later on. And this isn't a game Georgia lost. This is one Ole Miss won. I mean, Ole Miss, Georgia did not lose this game by no means. Miss free throws, you can maybe blame Miss free throws. You can. But this is one of those games that, that that wasn't the case. I mean, Georgia played a great basketball game and so did Ole Miss. This is a game that you hate a team had to lose. Um, I also said a second ago, before we start, before I started recording that, I would much rather sacrifice a loss to Ole Miss and beat Kentucky Saturday. Maybe that's the way we're looking at. Georgia has to get in this road stretch. Georgia has to go. I mean, home stand. Georgia has to go two and one. If you go one and two, you know your tournament hopes are slim. I mean, not an I mean, NIT tournament, yes. Which before I hear people crap on the NIT, and a team that has not even sniffed a tournament in since sixteen, seventeen. Maybe even 17, 18. One of those two years we played Belmont in the NIT. I think it was 16, 17. For a team that has not sniffed any tournament, I know y'all can say that, you know, snobby people are going to say that's not good enough for them. For me, that's that's beautiful. I mean, 6 of 26, 1 of 17 in conference play. Now, last tonight does hurt a lot. It really does. But, you know. Like I just said, it's a game you hate somebody had to lose because it really was that good of a ball game. Now, um, next for Georgia, Kentucky, I got 12 o'clock, so it's an early game. But, um, I mean, Braylon played awesome tonight. Justin Hill played awesome tonight. You really do miss Terry Roberts. This is where his his absence uh it's shown, um, but man, I can't say I can't say one bad word tonight because Georgia played a good basketball game, and unfortunately for Georgia, Ole Miss played better. And that's the thing about Ole Miss teams with Kermit Davis. You can't count those guys out. They might be two and nine in conference play, but Kermit Davis is a wonderful head coach. You cannot count those guys out. Um, Arkansas was beating Kentucky. I think Texas A&M hung on and beat Auburn. I'm not sure. Um, but the main score, Georgia, uh, just what was the final score? I think it was like 71 to 69 or 78, 74. Yeah. Um, we just fell short tonight against Kentucky. You know, we'll go Saturday, uh, beat Kentucky. But um, absolutely heartbreaking loss for uh, Georgia tonight. So, wonder right here, got a radio pregame on. I still have to edit radio highlights. So, uh, yeah. Let's go dogs. Dogs do the improbable, the unthinkable, the unbelievable. They beat Arkansas and go wire to wire to win the SEC tournament.